my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So we are going to carry on looking at infusible ink today and we're looking at the infusible ink pens. Now there are four pen sets currently available. You've got the neon pen sets which come in 0.4 and 1. And then there's the other pen set which I believe is primary colours or normal colours. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, uh, but that also comes in 0.4 and 1 mils as well. Now I've only got the neons in 0.4. I absolutely recommend getting the 0.4 and the 1 mil sets. 0.4 are perfect for writing with, especially if you're using a writing font and you want it to be nice and thin. They're also great for a nice thin drawing. And then the 1mm ones will be great for colouring in. I am going to colour in using the 0.4, but it's not the quickest method and it's quite difficult because it's a really thin nib. So I do recommend getting both pen sizes. You will need a Cricut blank to go with this, so whether it be the coasters or tote or t-shirt. As I said in my previous video, I absolutely recommend until you get used to infusible ink using the Cricut blanks. Of course, what you do in your craft room is between you and your craft room, so if you want to experiment with other blanks, then do so, but I think when first starting out, Use the Cricut ones because at least you'll be able to see the optimal results because Infusible Ink will work best with the Cricut blanks. At least it will give you a good benchmark when looking at other products. You absolutely need the heat resistant tape, I cannot stress this enough, especially when using the pens and paper. And I also recommend getting a dispenser to go with your heat tape as well. It's very thick and very rigid and it's quite hard to work with, so you definitely want a dispenser. When working with the pens, you will need laser copy paper. You can get this from most office supply places. Really easy to get hold of. I actually stole this from my husband's office. Um, he does own his office, by the way, so I didn't just go into his workplace and pilfer something. Uh, I, I mean, I always go into his workplace and pilfer things, but I'm kind of allowed to. Uh, so this one says mono laser. So it has got laser on it and then it's got copier and it says plain paper. So it's pretty much an all round office supply paper, which is what you're looking for. But it is crucial that it has that laser on it because you will get optimal results with laser copier paper. So I'm in design space and I've just got a circle shape here which is the size of my coaster, so 3.6 inches. We're using the ceramic coasters today and it does say on the back of the pack the size of them. I've also come in and got this image from design space. So I will be drawing the image and then I will be colouring in where it's currently black. I also want to get some text, so I'm just going to go to text. I've chosen the font awesome and I've made sure it's in a writing style. If you don't know how to do this, you can go to fonts, you can click on Cricut fonts and then filter to writing and it will give you all the single line writing fonts. If it's not a Cricut font, then if you change it to writing or draw, you'll often find that it's a double line. So I've written Halloween here and I want to use my curve tool so I'm just going to come in and just curve it round and I'm then just going to manoeuvre it slightly. Now my text I want to be in a different colour to my pumpkin so I'm going to come up, you can see the line type is draw and I'm just going to change the colour to green. Then my pumpkin, I'm just going to click on that and it's currently set to cut so I'm going to change it to draw and I'm also again going to click the colour box and we are just going to choose the orange peel. Now I want to actually cut out my circle so I am going to highlight everything and I'm just going to go to attach. So it will draw Happy Halloween in my green infusible ink neon pen. I will then do the pumpkin in the orange neon and then it will cut out the circle and then I can come in and colour in where the black pieces were. So we can then go to make it and you do want to make sure that you are mirroring. 
We can then go to continue. I'm choosing my maker today, but you can use Infusible Ink with your Explore machines. I'm going to go to browse all materials, and rather than scrolling all the way down to paper, I'm just going to type in copy and press enter and it will then come up with copy paper. You can use the laser copy paper as well, but I've done it with the copy paper and I know it cuts fine, so I'm just going to use that setting. We can then go to done. It's going to tell us to put our orange pen in first and obviously make sure our fine point is loaded. It's also told us that we will need an additional green pen. So we've then got a blue mat and I've got my copy paper, it doesn't matter what side you put it down on and we're just going to place it onto our mat and then come in with our Cricut brayer and just secure it to our mat. My fine point blade is loaded but I need to put my orange pen in so I'm just going to open up the accessory clamp. I'm going to take the lid off and then I'm just going to place it in until it clicks. So I, need, so I now need to change to my green pen. You'll notice it's not particularly vibrant, exactly the same as with Infusible Ink. When you add the heat is when you really see the colour difference. So before I remove it from the mat, I am going to come in with my orange pen and I'm just going to colour in the bits that I want coloured in. Now when colouring in, you want to take your time because any bits you miss any bits that are over the lines, it will transfer. So you just want to take your time when colouring in. Once coloured in, we can then come in, turn our mat over and remove our drawing. You then want to come into the Cricut Easy Press Heat Guide. This is invaluable to you when working with Infusible Ink. It's an absolute must. So you want to select your transfer material. So we've got ink pens or markers. And our base material is the ceramic coasters. We can then press apply. For the first time ever, I think, I am going to go against the uh, official instructions when it comes to the ceramic coasters. I don't know if it's the they're ceramic or I don't know if it's the voltage or what it is. But I do know that when I press at 400 for 240 seconds, I think that that is too long for here in the UK. The paper goes brown, you can smell it, it smells burnt. It's not pleasant, I don't like the smell. Those of you that have watched my previous video, you know that I've got a really strong sense of smell, which is why I change things slightly with Infusible Ink, because I need to change them to work with me. If I smell a smell that I don't like and my body feels is offensive, I get really, really sick. I have to take anti-sickness tablets and all sorts. So come in, read the instructions, make sure you read them properly because it is different for the ceramic coasters and I will go through the correct way, but I'm also going to go through the way that I do it as well but always make sure that you are coming into the reference guide and you are absolutely reading everything that you need to do. So I've got my easy press mat here. I've got some butcher paper. You definitely want to make sure you're putting the butcher paper down, especially if you're going to do this the correct way with the ceramic coasters because the butcher paper does actually take some of the ink so the ink does transfer to the butcher paper so you want to make sure you put that down because you don't want the ink obviously going on your mat. We've then got our ceramic coaster. You are going to come in and with a lint free cloth just give that a wipe. 
You want to get your design and place it face down onto your coaster. And then you want to come in with your heat transfer tape and place it into place. Now you want to make sure that when you're placing the tape, you're not placing it anywhere on the design because that will impede the transfer. I'm just going to roll it round so it's nice and secure. Now the official way of doing this is that you then turn your coaster over so that you're looking at the back of the coaster. You then get a piece of cardstock and place that over. I don't like the cardstock, I don't like the smell of it when it's with the Easy Press, so I just use my butcher paper. And then you want to press at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 240 seconds. However, as I say, I think that is too long. The smell for me is horrific. So this is how I do it. I turn my coaster round so it's actually facing me. The design is facing upwards, I can see it. I'm going to come in with my butcher paper and just place that over. As I say, the ink is going to leak onto the butcher paper. It is one time use, so try and use the sides and not slap bang in the middle. I'm going to switch our Easy Press on. It's already set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm actually going to reduce the time. So, with the infusible ink sheets, I do it for 120 seconds. This is only for the ceramic coasters. Everything else I do exactly by instructions. With the pens, I do it for 160 seconds. So I'm just gonna click my timer and bring it up to 160. But as I say, with the sheets, I do it for 120. But this is my way, this is not the official way at all. But I still find that I'm getting really good results, so I'm happy with it. It's for the individual to make their own mind up. Now, as I explained in my previous video, infusible ink is very temperamental. You want to go in with one press. You want to make sure it's a nice, even press as well. So first of all, you need to make sure the easy press you're using covers the entire space of your infusible ink, whether that be the sheets or the pens. You cannot go in in sections with infusible ink. You will see a big colour difference. The other thing is you don't want to put any pressure on this. Again, if you've got pressure leaning towards one side, you're going to see that in the colour. You want a nice even transfer. So you're going to lift your Easy Press on, put it straight down and then move away. The problem with that is that if you press the C, you're actually moving the Easy Press. So a way around that is to add an extra two seconds onto the time. So I've got it at 162. I'm going to hover over and I'm going to press my C and place straight down. So I'm just going to press my C and put down and then leave it. We then want to come in, lift straight up and then you want to leave that. You do not want to touch this. I cannot tell you how hot this ceramic coaster is. It is boiling. I've got Teflon fingers and I still burn myself on this. Just leave it, do not touch it. You can see that the ink has seeped through onto the butcher paper. Um, that's absolutely fine and you'll probably see how vibrant it's become. Once your coaster has completely cooled, we want to come in and remove the tape. And then we can peel back to reveal the design. And there you go. As I say, with the colouring in, you need to take the time. And I personally would use the 1mm pens, not the 0.4 ones. But the 0.4s are great for writing with.